What is up everybody? It is your boy Fry. Uh, so, you know, I cannot stress this enough, um, how important it is to keep your sessions, um, you know, cleaned up. You know what I mean? Drop a like. Uh, by the way, I forget to do all that stuff. You know what I mean? I know you guys got me. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be basically showing you just some good um, habits to get into. You know what I mean? Uh, when recording in FL Studio, that's why having a template is so, I mean, you could remove every single effect in this template and... Um, you know add your own that's fine but what's beautiful about this is that everything is kind of laid out you know what i mean uh that's why it's easy for me if someone comes over i slap open a template i might remove everything if, if we're really doing a uh a, a, a project that requires kind of a new different sound but everything is here you know uh you've got all your channels set so you know fl studio already does come with templates right um you know whatever 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 but you know nothing really much for vocal recording and this is why it's all beautiful because you've got your delays you've got your uh, effect sends and all that all set up which you can just mute and turn off if you don't like the sound of them um but yeah so let's start off with the mixer and then we will go towards the uh wow you know what i mean that's looking good um so let's start off with the mixer you know so as you can see i've got my main vocal right there you know what i mean um in this template i'm using you know we've got a microphone input it's really <coughs> important to have a dedicated channel for your um, microphone input because you don't want to be recording with plugins you know what i mean so for example you might record that and it actually records the auto-tune you know what i mean uh so that's a no-no my bad you guys i'm gonna drink some water but ah lime water with lemon all right so yeah, I, you know, you can just control click and, and then move around. And the awesome thing about all of this is, you see, for example, when I recorded this track and I said, all right, I'm going to do the main vocal first, right? You can see every one of these has been rooted towards um, channel eight by default, just because the channel that I'm actually recording is is being sent to a certain channel. You know, FL Studio kind of just puts it there already. So you don't have to then go and and you know, scroll around and add it and do all the stuff. You know what I mean? You want your workflow to be quick and concise. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, you know, what I can speak on in the mixer. So as you can see, I've got background vocals here, which are all rooted to a background vocal channel. So that way I can quickly, if I don't want to hear something, for example, I don't want to hear the background vocals. Hey, yeah, blowing gas, think I'm sick. You know what I mean? Muted. It's it's really easy. It's simple. It's quick. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I really need to do to break down. You've got a vocal bus as well. Uh, you guys have seen this in previous videos. Uh, main vocal channel, vocal bus. We can mute all the vocals and just hear the effects. You know what I mean? Uh, it's really, it's it's just, it's easy. It's nice to look at. Um, and it just boosts creativity. You know what I mean? So here we go in terms of the uh, kind of full song. As you can see, I've categorized everything, hook, main vocal. You know, there's some people that do this beautifully. I get some mixes um, and you guys have just done it really beautifully, but this is this is more beautiful, all right? <laughs> you can color your, your beats in, you can do whatever. You know, I've got one dedicated space for all my delays, effects and whatnot, you know what I mean? They're all, all my reverse reverbs. I can find them, you know what I mean? If I feel like, oh man, I want to turn down um, the reverse reverb, boom, you know what I mean? Um, it's really easy to find. Uh, you know, reverb sings, background vocals, it's all kind of laid out. Um, and unfortunately, the problem with FL, which I really hope they'll fix, is that whenever you're recording, you know, you might finish a take and then the take ends up here. You know what I mean? So it's also just important to kind of, um, you know, pull that back into your main vocal or you can kind of keep it all crazy. What I like to do is if I'm recording a bunch of takes, as you can see here, I mean, look at that, right? I've recorded a bunch of times, but, and you see, I pick and choose what I want. You know what I mean? So. I took all of that and then I took that piece and then I took that piece and then in the end I compiled it all to here. So all I did was I muted what I I, I, I said, okay, I might keep that for later, right? Um, and then I listened to each one after I recorded and then I kind of pick and choose, you know what I mean? It's just easy to uh, organize. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you know, there we go. I can easily identify my hook background vocals. Um, as well as the ad libs right there, not too many ad libs going on. Um, there's the hook again. You know, if you guys want to figure out how to get this, this is not really too important, but you know, all you need to do is press Control T and then you can uh, right click and press R and then just, you know, call that intro. You know what I mean? And, and there you go. Uh, it's really simple. You know what I mean? Uh, once you get used to it. And yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to break down for you guys. I hope you learned something in the video. I know it was a bit quick uh, because, you know, I. 
I love this type of stuff. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe. Join the familia. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments section. Um, uh, should I drop the song on my on my channel? It's just fun freestyle, you know, freestyle the versus uh, you know Pierre Planet Namek remix. But yeah, it is your boy Fry. If you enjoyed the sound of the template, um, I know I didn't play too much of it, um, but you know, feel free to stop by the web store. It is your boy Fry signing out. Peace, homie.